some sense. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Kent Conklin, and this week we're taking a look at printing profiles. As always, we're going to cruise through these tricks fairly quickly, so feel free to pause or rewind the podcast if we're going too fast. And remember, I always work on a copy of the image, not the original. today we're taking a look at how to print accurate color from Photoshop using the print with preview dialog and paper specific print profiles. First off, open up an image in Photoshop you'd like to print. Make any corrections, crops, or edits you need to make to the image to get it ready for printing. Now go to the file menu and select the print with preview option. A new dialog box will pop open. You should see a preview of your image on the left and some image sizing options on the right. And you also may see some other options below the preview. If you don't see these extra options on the bottom, click the More Options button on the bottom right corner of the dialog. In this bottom section under the preview, there should be a pop-up menu labeled either Output or Color Management. If it says output, click on it and switch it to the color management option. Now, in this color management section, we have a bunch of options. First up is the print section. There are two buttons here, one labeled document, one labeled proof. Leave this set to document and look down to the section of the dialog labeled options. The first menu in this options section is labeled color handling, and this is the main thing we're interested in for this trick. It's probably set to its default of let printer determine colors. In this mode, Photoshop sends your image data to your printer driver and lets your printer figure out how to print the colors. But some printers will actually be more accurate with color if we change this setting from let printer determine colors to let Photoshop determine colors. So select Let Photoshop Determine Colors from the Color Handling pop-up menu. Now, right below your Color Handling menu, you should see a little Printer Profile pop-up. Click on this pop-up menu. You should probably see a huge long list of different color profiles you have installed on your computer. Look for one that corresponds to the name of the printer you'll be printing on. If you can't find one, you might not be out of luck just yet. Some printer manufacturers will let you download color profiles for different printers and paper from their website. So check to see if you can download a printer profile. But if you have a fairly recent photo printer, chances are good that you'll find more than one color profile related to your printer in this pop-up menu. Chances are also good that these color profiles will have cryptic names like Canon i990 MP1. Each of these color profiles is related to a specific kind of paper. Look in your printer manual or on your printer's website to see what each of these profiles mean. I know for my printer, the Canon i9900, MP1 stands for matte paper with a quality setting of 1. So I'll pick that profile for printing on matte paper. Once you've selected your print profile for your printer and paper combination, click the print button at the top right corner of your dialog box. This will open your standard printing dialog. Set the dialog as you usually would for printing, but before you print, click on the Color Options section or tab. This may be called different things depending on what kind of printer you have. 
but somewhere in this color options settings, you should be able to turn off your printer's color correction. For my Canon printer, this is under the color options, then color correction, none. This will of course vary depending on your printer. We need to turn off the printer color correction because we've already set up Photoshop to make the correct color corrections for our specific printer and paper. Had we left the let printer determine colors option on in Photoshop, you would want to leave this color correction settings on in this print dialog. Now just click print and enjoy. One last note, you can also download printer-specific profiles for third-party photo paper from companies like Kodak. Check their website for additional profiles if you print on third-party papers. Also, this process will run a lot more smoothly if you have a color-calibrated workflow from start to finish. For more information on color management workflows, check out episode 13 of our show which you can find in the archive section of our website. You can find our website at 2minutetricks.com. If you have a question about Photoshop or a comment about the show, you can send me an email at kent at 2minutetricks.com. Or you can leave a comment on our website. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.